Hello and welcome to another tutorial video from the Maiden Group. Today we're going to show you how you can get more done and master the virtual exhibition experience. So I'm logged into my micro site. Uh, I've gone to maidenthemidlands.com or maidenyorkshire.com and headed to my account in the top right hand corner. Uh, I've entered my credentials and now I'm seeing this page, uh, the dashboard. So we'll just head back to the dashboard first of all, as this is the page you will see when you log into your micro site. So you're logged into your microsite, you've got your dashboard here, and then the next thing we want to do is press this little more button here, and you wanna click virtual expos. So the virtual exhibitions are for silver, gold, and patron members. As you can see, there are two past exhibitions we held last year, the Back in Britain Live 2020 and Made Futures Careers Week in March. So our next up and coming virtual exhibition from the 26th to the 28th of April 2022 is Back in Britain 3.0, a hybrid of the two exhibitions we just mentioned here. So to master the virtual experience, the virtual exhibition experience, you want to go to customize my booth. wait for this to load perfect there we go so now that we're on here as you can see there is an array of things that you can do to your virtual exhibition style depending on your membership so to build everything that's on this stand and make all of these little touch points work we want to make sure that all of these things are filled in and they don't take long at all uh, and usually you would have the content to hand already so the first thing you want to do is add all of your team members so who will be present on that stand who will visitors be able to contact or talk with. As you can see, QTS have quite a few people lined up to for visitors to connect with. Second is your colour. So this needs to be your brand colours. As you can see, all the brand colours are on there. Logos and banners. So here's the section we're talking about here. So logos and the banners. Again, so you, when visitors visit your stand, all they will need to do is click this touch point and it will make your poster bigger and they'll be able to see the information. Brochures. So as you can see, there's a little brochure stand here as well and another little touch point. So you want to upload brochures that would be relevant. So QTS have some perfect ones here. So the careers at QTS and then a general QTS uh, product brochure. Videos. So you can see on here, if I just zoom in a little, uh, there's a TV on the back of the stand. So on that TV, you can have a video, so maybe a company video or as QTS has done here, uh, careers at QTS. Your company intro text, so this needs to be about your company, so when the visitor clicks on about your company, they will be able to see this text here. And then finally, your personal greeting, so this can be a video of a member of your team, uh, just a short video greeting the people on the stand as, as you would at a physical exhibition. It's important to remember to click save and finish on every one of these steps that we've just mentioned here too. So mastering the virtual exhibition also includes mastering the live chat section. So the live chat section, which you can also make live on your microsite, enables visitors to your microsite or to your, or to your exhibition stand to be able to interact with you. As you can see, visitors to your stand it will show if they're online or offline. So if they've messaged you, you can message them back and it will appear in their inbox or you can message with them live, kind of like Facebook Messenger. If you click on the view profile here, you can see the profile of that person and their membership. And you can also save the chat if you wish to as well. So to promote the to, so to, to promote your virtual exhibition stand, the next thing that you could do, if I just head back to the dashboard, is download a series of resources. So you can use the official logos folder or the HR resources folder, as shown in some of our how-to videos as well, and download anything relevant for you to give your exhibition stand an extra push and promote it across your social media. Thanks for listening.